Chromecast gets a new name, an industry legend passes away, Spotify expands in Asia, and more. It's Tuesday, March 22nd, and this is Crunch Report, presented by Toyota. Google's streaming media device, the Chromecast, got a new name today. From now on, it'll be known as Google Cast. How big a deal is this? Well, name changes can suggest broader shifts in a company's strategy. In the case of Chromecast, Google had already redesigned the device and it launched Chromecast Audio. It's even been working with hardware manufacturers to include Chromecast technology in other devices. All in all, Chromecast has become a bigger platform rather than just a little streaming TV dongle. It also sounds like Google really wants to emphasize the idea of casting, namely sending media from your phone to your TV or speakers. And who knows, maybe you were already calling it Google Cast, so it'll be an easy switch. The company has also launched a new Google Cast website where you can see devices that support the technology already, no extra gadgets needed. One of the giants of the tech industry passed away yesterday. Andy Grove was the first hire at Intel, becoming president in 1979 and CEO in 1987. Even before his time at Intel, it seems like Grove led an extraordinary life, having been born in Hungary, surviving the country's Nazi occupation and Soviet control before immigrating to the US in the mid-1950s. According to a memorial blog post from Intel, Grove played a critical role in the company's shift from memory chips to microprocessors. And during his time in charge, it produced chips like the 386 and the Pentium, which, if you kind of remember, was practically synonymous with the PC boom. Apple CEO Tim Cook tweeted, Andy Grove was one of the giants of the technology world. He loved our country and epitomized America at its best. Rest in peace. Grove was 79 years old. Spotify has confirmed plans to go live in Indonesia at the end of March. Even if you haven't been anxiously waiting for this launch, it's noteworthy because nearly two years have passed since Spotify last added a new country in Asia. Until now, its presence there has been limited to relatively small Western influence markets like Hong Kong and Singapore. But TechCrunch's John Russell suggests that this could be the beginning of a bigger Asian push with Japan and India on the horizon. It's also worth noting that even though Spotify isn't currently available in Japan, the company has an office in Tokyo and it has signed a deal with Line, which is the top messaging app in Japan. All right, this next story is a little bit of a rewind. As last night's episode of Crunch Report was going live, some big news was breaking about Apple and the FBI. Just one day before a scheduled hearing to discuss the FBI's efforts to get Apple to unlock the iPhone of one of the San Bernardino shooters, a story you've probably been following, the government asked to delay the hearing until April. The reason? The FBI said it might not need Apple's help after all because an outside party demonstrated a way to unlock the phone. The delay is supposed to give the agency time to test that method. If it works, this could help both sides avoid a difficult legal battle, but of course it remains to be seen whether this unknown method will actually pay off. Now, at TechCrunch, we cover acquisitions all the time, but this one's got a little bit of a twist. It's the story of a company that wasn't acquired, at least for now. Ars Technica had reported that Apple was in talks to buy chip company Imagination Technologies. Normally, the way this works is you'll see a story like this, and a few days or a few weeks later, you'll hear that the acquisition happened, or it'll just fade away, and you have no idea if the deal fell through, or if the initial story was just flat out wrong, or whatever. However, this story actually sent Imagination stock price up 20%, prompting Apple to release a statement confirming that the talks had happened, but denying that an acquisition was about to take place. The exact words were, quote, from time to time, Apple talks with companies about potential acquisitions. We had some discussions with Imagination, but we do not plan to make an offer for the company at this time. That's the report for today. I'm Anthony Ha. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on techcrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. See you tomorrow. Yeah.